Well, I suppose I do want to drop a bit more, so... Okay, we're still roughly facing the right way, facing retrograde. We're basically at Apo, and we do want to reduce our parry. So let me do a slow burn here. There we go. Hopefully at um, 16 kilometers above the surface, 16,000 meters, we're not going to whack into anything. It looks From this view, it looks like we're fine. Uh, this would also be fine on the moon. There shouldn't be an atmosphere here, so we should be totally in the clear. Don't have SAS on. Good. Set the warp to uh, parry. And I think with this, it doesn't actually stop us ahead of time. So I'm just going to drop this down and then manually bring it in. It's going to be fine. Five minutes away. Whoop! There we go. We've entered the low. Excellent. So I should have time to grab an atmospheric pressure scan. How come no temperature study? There's no difference? These are worth a lot more science, though. Wow. Okay, I want to make sure... Where's my... There it is. I want to make sure that we use these material bay and goo bay. I guess low is worth a lot more. And yeah, right, okay. What I'm going to do is take a new crew report on the surface, which should be worth the most. I forgot a transmitter. Oh, no, I do have a transmitter! Fucking hell. How much data is it going to... No. I, I got to save my electricity. I'm too worried that we won't... That the transmission will use too much electricity. I can't get the stats over here. Because what I would like to do is review the crew report and send it. And then do it again. And then take a new one right now. Uh, just keep the data. Take a new one right now from low and send it. And then actually grab one from the surface. But I think that would be... Too dangerous. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and EVA. Valentina. We're going to collect this goo data. We're then... We'll activate the RCS. Or... Do I have to let go first? Is that it? There we go. Um, kind of a weird angle. Just because of where my head is. Go up-ish. Forward-ish, up-ish. Fucking... Fuck. There we go. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about here. I could have tilted the um, the capsule to be a little easier to work with. And down and to the right. Back. Come on. Let me grab the data. Thank you. God, that was tough. Oh, you know what's going to be really particularly hard here? Is being able to board. And the reason for that is I have to get my feet to touch the ladder slash hatch slash whatever. My head's mostly going to get in the way. Board. Okay, there we go. Everything fine. Okay, now all we got to do is land this fucker. There's some lumpy bits. What I'm going to do is, since it doesn't really affect it, I'm going to deploy our gear now, which apparently doesn't use any electricity. That's very nice. So as we arrive at the parry... I guess... Oh, I'd like to land on the light side. Yes, I don't have any electricity, but I kind of want to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, I do have the ambience turned on. I don't know if this is tidally locked. Is there a smoother... Oh my god, no matter what, it's going to be pretty lumpy. This looks like some of the smoothest area in here, so I guess we will try that, even though there's no sunlight, so we won't get to see our shadow. I really want to see our shadow. Okay, let me start with something like that. Um, we are almost at the node. Just fast forward a bit. It's going to be a super short burn again. Oh, that's a little too much. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, again, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go to full throttle, although this one might be safe to do. Okay, we still have 80% of our power. We've been conserving. We've been very careful. Um, we could risk transmitting one crew report. Well, what I suppose I can do... I'll see. Okay, let me do... Gentle. Gentle. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to come around to around here, and then really do another retro burn. 
cancel that one and maneuver there. Well, I'm mostly just using this as a marker. Oops, that's the wrong one. Mostly just using it as a marker because what I'm going to be looking to do is kill my um, my orbital speed. Basically bring it to zero. I have never landed on this kind of planet, on any other foreign body before and tried to do this sort of slick little landing. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> We're only going to be four kilometers above the surface. I hope that like wasn't too crazy. Alright, warp to the maneuver. Oh my god. I'm really actually quite concerned that we have like way too much power here and it's going to be very fuzzy to do the landing. Now, I think it's... Uh, thank you. I think it's too late for me to address the thrust limiters. Oh no, I can actually. And I can even shut down the extras. Hang on. Okay, we're only going to use the central engine here. I think this is going to be more than enough juice to get it done. In fact, in hindsight, I sort of wished I'd left these other engines behind. We would have gotten more Delta V. Left the extra fuel cells, but left the engines behind. Okay. We are still closing in on our parry. We're not quite there yet. Actually, my maneuver node... Oh, right, because I don't want to maneuver at my parry, even though it's, in a sense, more effective. I'm looking for a flat plot. Are these places are really flat. Okay, let's go. Let's do this shit. Let's turn retro. I'm going to kill that. We really, really do not need much thrust. Turn the SAS on because, yeah, we're going to accept the fact that we're burning power here. I shouldn't be doing these maneuvers with SAS here. Okay. Orbital speed, surface speed. Let's switch to surface mode. We'll get a better sense of things because it is rotating. So I'm just looking to kill my surface speed as much as possible. Turn off the SAS. Turn it back on. I can change my mind. Alright, kill that. Kill the SAS. So, now we are indeed going to be coming down. We still have a bit of surface speed. Do I want to kill all of it now? Yeah, sure. Oh, fuck, I'm doing it wrong. I'm happy I turned off the extra engines. Okay. Barely any surface speed. Somehow we picked some up. Whatever. Are we dropping? Oh my god, we're dropping very slowly. Very slowly. Vertical speed is increasing though. Oh, horizontal speed. There, we got some real numbers. I know I'm, I'm spinning right now, but it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll arrest it in a second with some, uh, S or, yeah, the SAS. So, we've got, if I went into my cabin here, I can get my radar altitude, which right now is pinned. But we can get some of that info. Where we can also get some from this view. So, altitude from terrain. We're two and a half kilometers above the surface right now. So, when this is about 5k, is when we're going to be virtually at the surface. We're still going to be a couple hundred meters, but it's going to be damn close. I want to... Oops, there we go. Okay. So, we, we don't have to freak out about this roll yet. Okay, I'm going to wait until we're roughly in the right direction, which is something a little bit more like this. I'm just going to turn on the stability assist. Okay. Roll down. Our retrograde, yeah, will be coming up on the top of the ball here, which is where we want it. Now, ideally, as we get very close, we're going to want to get that gone completely. So if I go and do a slight burn here, it should help push it right to the middle. Just an easy burn. Oh, we're increasing our horizontal speed. Really? No, I'm doing it wrong. Okay. 
horizontal speed is going up pretty dramatically. Which way is it? Okay, we want to point to our retro, which is over here, that way. Oops, now we're leaving. Holy crap! This place has no gravity. Uh, we are going to come down again? Yes. But our horizontal speed keeps climbing. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. It's looping around. It's being weird. I'm coming down again. What's the deal with our horizontal speed? Well, here it's nothing. Relative to the surface. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Less gentle. Oh my god, that's the surface right there. That's the surface? I'd like some RCS for this. Because I'm worried that like... Oh my god, we just landed. We fucking landed. Guys. How come we don't have any more science going on? Science alerter. Shouldn't we be able to get science from here? Oh, I gotta collect that <laughs> thermometer. I never collected this on the last EVA. It's okay, we can get it on the way out. Okay. First of all, come on. You gotta have goo science for me. <sighs> Minmus's Highlands. 50 science from the goo. Material Bay over here. 125 science. Goddamn right. How much power do we have? 25. Let's turn off the SAS. That was still draining some juice. That's no good. Um, let's go and... EVA. What? What's going on? Why am I moving up? Get back inside. Why was I leaving? Take data. Store experiment. Whoa. Okay. Let's turn on our RCS. Okay, you need a scientist for that. Take data. Okay, grab. Board. Okay, good. Now. Log pressure data. There we go. Collected and record atmospheric pressure surround the surroundings. That's pretty generic. Do I not have my um um crowdsource science? Log temperature. Forty. As suspected, it's cold here. We are in the highlands. Okay, we did the goo, so now we've got to get out again. You know what? I'm going to take a crew report from here. Yes, overwrite the old one. This one should be worth more. I think the other one was 16. Okay, EVA again. Take the new data. Take that data. Okay. Woo! That's one small step for a Kerbal. One giant leap for Kerbal Kind. Let's plant our flag. I can't believe it took me this long to get down to the surface here. I should have done that right away. Science after. Ta-da! Val... Va... Come on. Valentina was here. These are highlands. Boom! All right. You take an EVE report. It's hard to control your movements in the low gravity. Keep that. Okay. Whee! I think you can hold shift to run. I don't know if you can run on this planet. And we can jump and like, I think we can like almost go orbital here. Wow! Activate the thrusters. Come down. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. No! No, don't, don't crush into the planet. Go up a bit. Up, 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 up. Ooh, that's going to be tricky. We can't really grab from here. There's no ladder. All right. Jump up. Come down. Try to land right on top. There we go. Collect data. Collect data. Um, did we get... We logged that. So presumably we've collected it. From both? Whoops, 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 come on. Up, 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 up. Up. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Let's go and board. Oops. Nope. Up. Oh. Oh, it dropped out of flight mode. Oh, for crying out loud. What's going on here? Um, toggle RCS? There we go. Woo! Can I get some SAS here? That would be nice. Alright, up, up, up. Up, up, up. Slow down. Up, up, up. Grab. Board. Okay! Well, there we have it! This is going to be a full tank when we leave. If it says one-third here... I mean, I guess this is only... Because this is a 200, these are hundreds. So, we've got a total of 500. So, it'll be almost exactly a full tank left in here. I have to put a cut in this this video. It's too long. I just realized after the fact. Um, <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we leave now, don't we? I think so. So, my plan is to start the engines and then throw off the side ones because we don't need this extra weight anymore and I'm starting the engines first so I don't just like sort of drop first although honestly I might be safe I want to get clear of the planet a little bit before we do this so let's go ahead and go to minimal thrust temperature scan there we go okay and jettison that Plenty of Delta V. Okay, let's turn... I don't know where the east is. I don't even know if it turns eastwards. That's that's easty. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. There we are. There's no atmosphere, so we can really go into quite a shallow... ...movement. The, the prograde will fix itself relatively soon. Lots of fuel, just a little bit of thrust, just to get it going. Are we at orbital yet? Sort of. Alright, let's turn towards prograde properly. Say us turn on a sec. We still have 20 units of energy left, which is good. This should be very easy. I don't know what it'll aim for for an Apoites' height here. It doesn't, really doesn't have to be much at all. Let's actually kill it here. And when we get two Apo, we'll do a burn at that point to make ourselves go nice and round. As far as I can tell, if those were the highlands, yeah, we're going to be well above any mountains here. SAS on for a little bit. There we go. Turn it off. Closing in on Apo, which is going to be like nothing. It's going to be such a short little burn. If we end up at increase my Apo a bit, it's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and thrust now. Just watch the other side of the equation. Good enough. All right, so we're not we're not round, but we are orbital. I could have done that better to make it rounder, but that's going to be just fine. Okay. So now our target. Now I can't, if I recall correctly, it's some, there's something weird. Like you can't target Kerbin, can you? Yes, you can't. Oh, I can set KSC as a target. So if I do that, does it give me any goals? Well. How do I clear my targets? I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, we just gotta get back, and... Which one... I'm trying to figure out the proper inclination. I guess it doesn't matter, actually, when going back. There's no there's no sense of it. It's all... It's all valid. I mean, if we aligned ourselves with the inclination of this orbit... No, it makes no difference one way or another. Okay. So, with that in mind... We're not going to cut in or anything weird, is it? No. With that in mind, all we have to do is basically from the other side of this, we just want to increase our orbit. Well, any orbit will cause us to leave the sphere of influence of this. Anything that's like larger than X. It's a good thing we didn't bring, um, we don't, we're not playing with the, the TAC mod where we need like food and water we can go and take a super inefficient orbit if I do something like this and add a maneuver from there ok 
Okay, and then finally, if I can cancel that, if I actually just leave from here, would that make any sense at all? Somewhere in there, we end up with one of the slightly closer. Still a really short burn. Something about this angle isn't bad, though, because it does get me a little closer to Kerbin than some of these others. It doesn't actually matter. At this point, basically, I just have to burn prograde and get out. So you know what? Even though we're not at the time for the maneuver, we can be like a two-second burn at full power. Just lock on with the SAS. Close enough. One, two, three... There. Good enough. She got excited. We completed the maneuver. Everything is fine. We still have about 1,200 Delta V. Didn't, we had 1,200 Delta V left when we left Kerbin. Yeah. Well, we've got more than enough juice here. Let's 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 appreciate this as we leave. Oh, there's some hills and mountains and things like that. I wonder if I went out. Um, and collecting this temperature data, we might run over a different kind of biome or something and get some different data. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's just space near Minmus. And we have that data already. Okay. All right, then. I guess what we'll do is... Basically, we're just going to reach. wait until we got that periapsis. Are we... What are we currently orbiting? What is the is the game considering us to be orbiting Kerbin? Oh, we've got the wrong focus set. Valentina was here. I want to focus on my ship here. And the Minmus one. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, hit backspace. There we go. Backspace always returns you to the ship. Uh, sphere of influence is Minmus right now, so we're gonna go ahead and wait. This warp to descending node. There we go. Warp to um, sphere of influence. With a margin of three minutes. Please and thank you. SAS is not on. We still have 20 units of energy. Goodbye, Minmus. It was a pleasure to see you. We should have tons of science when we get back. I know there's tons of science left. Tons of science left. And we did overkill our design. I mean, we have lots of Delta V left. On the other hand... And actually, we dropped without those engines. I can strip out three of those engines, save off a lot of weight. Sure, less thrust, but a lot more delta V simply by being a lot lighter. And considering we used these engines just to leave Kerbin in the first place, that would have been good. Yeah, it didn't let us do the, the shorter burn, but who cares about that? Let me go to full fast forward here. At some point, it'll auto stop us as we get, there we go, close to the sphere of influence. Auto de-warping us. We're nearly there. And there we go. So in a second here, it should switch us over to Kerbin proper. And then actually, you can just fast forward a little bit more. There we go. Hey, we're back towards Kerbin. How exciting is that? Okay, so at the parry, we're going to want to hit some brakes. So we can fast forward to that. And I'll probably do a few steps because I don't have to worry about f food or water or oxygen here. I've got all the time in the world. I don't have to deburn in one. I'm going to try to get relatively low, but not all the way. Um, just because I'm a little worried about maybe effing it up and coming in a bit too fast. So, we're here. That's good. Where's the... Um, oops. Retro is going to be there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Using up more energy than I have to. Here, I'll use the, the cheat for a second here. <laughs> the, the trick to stop my rotation without burning any SAS. I got lots of power, though. I actually don't have to do anything like this. And burn retro. Where's the periapsis height? Oh, that's okay. Is that 22,000 kilometers? Yeah, it is. Seventy four hundred kilometers, yeah? Yeah, that is still a ridiculous orbit. Okay, I'm gonna let this one go. 
like this, um, just because it's going to be kind of awkward to get it. Like it's going to be very tricksy to not just smash into the planet. I think it's fine, but I'm just I'm just worried. Just good old fashioned paranoia. I don't want to f this up on return. How much um, Delta Vito have? Oh, tons, tons. We could leave here and go to the moon at this point. That's how crazy this is. Okay. Let's turn to face retro. Whoa. Down a bit. SAS. Lots of juice left. Lock that in there. Good stuff. Oh, we passed the periapsis. I was going to say, like, how is it still that far away? And... These will invert in a while. When they start flipping, it's when we're circular. But we're going to let go past. Basically, we're going to move the periapsis onto the other side. And we'll actually drop. I don't care where we land. I only have the one parachute, but I don't have a lot of weight. So, water, land, anything like that is fine. If I was coming back with more stuff, I would have wanted um, some radial shoots as well. Yeah, see, if I just deburnt... Am I out of juice? No. I was going to say, if I just burned from out there, I would have had enough. Did I, did I run out of fuel? Guys, we need we need some sort of rescue mission. Holy shit. I should have just done the burn the whole way over there. It would have been so much more efficient. We've run out of fuel. Now, I can try to push with my thrusters from my RCS. Let's make sure we're not rotating at all. And we're not. So, if I EVA... Oh, shit. Let go. Oops, no. That's the wrong button. EVA. And I can... So, I got my propellant over there. I've got five. If I let go, turn on the RCS. Go down. Stop. Go forward. It's fine, because of physics. I gotta make sure not to run out of juice. Push it. Push it. Oh. Yeah. It's possible -ish. Fuck, we gotta figure out a rescue mission. For Valentina. I should have just done the whole burn from the other side. I should have just, at the very least, I could have done it so that I just was below 70,000. And then taking like three or four passes at the Earth, just bleeding off a little bit of speed every time. I should have, because it would have taken like no more Delta V to get in. I just didn't expect it to be this much. I was sure we had infinite amounts left over. How do I mount a rescue at this point? How do you grab something that doesn't have a docking port? Well, okay. <gasps> All we have to do is get close. EVA, collect the data, or get close, come here, EVA, okay, um, let's SAS, whoa, that was jittery, hang on, let's, there we go, that was really weird, okay, if I EVA, can I grab, like, all the data, how much can I take, I can take everything, we can leave this pod behind, <gasps> alright, Valentina, you're gonna be okay, we are going to bring another ship here on a rendezvous. We're going to get goddamn close. We can't dock, but we'll be able to EVA, take all the data, move her to the next ship, and save her life. This is going to be amazing. Thank you very much for continuing to watch this series, everyone. I hope you are still enjoying it. We're fine. Ish. It's going to be a pain in the ass because it's not a circular orbit. I've never, ever, ever done a, um, a rendezvous. I haven't done it. Um, it's a lot, it's, I know it's not the same as just matching orbit. Uh, we match inclination first and then try to get, wow, match inclination first and then use, just try to speed around to the right point. And by speeding around, I mean, if we're behind, then we need to, um, drop our orbit because by having a lower orbit, we move faster. So we'll be able to get closer. And then when we get close, do that, we'll need some. RCS, maybe, just to make life as easy as possible to control ourselves as we approach. We're going to be fine. We're going to save Valentina next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.